Hello. Um, yeah, I'm just going to stick you in this cup. Um, just so I can get on with doing what I'm doing. There we go. Um, yeah, so I made, I've already made one video today for my YouTube channel. Um, I mean, I really, I'm really bored lately because of my house bad at the moment. I haven't been able to get out and about. And I've sort of like been stuck at home for like two or three weeks doing nothing. Um, and I'm kind of restless today, really restless. And I feel like doing something um, productive and, and whatever. And I just thought, well, why don't I make one of the videos I've been wanting to make for a while? And that is, I wanted to make some videos about um, easy recipes that are easy for people uh, to follow, like people with learning difficulties and disabilities, easy for, for them to follow the recipes and easy to make the recipes. Um, and I've sort of like been, uh, I've sort of like been getting a stockpile of different recipes and trying out different recipes and methods and things like that. And it's often, like in these recipe books is often like the methods and all the different stuff you got to do like that that confuses me so i've tried to find ways around it ways of of making things without all the complicatedness and i've come up with a few recipes and this recipe is one of my favorites that i'm going to do today and that is bread but it's not made like any normal bread. Instead of using yeast and doing all kneading and waiting for the bread to rise, you know, doing all the proving, and all that silliness and all the different ingredients, this recipe takes three ingredients. And instead of using yeast to help the bread rise, we use beer. So this is a beer bread um, and the beer already has yeast in it so the beer just does all that work that the yeast should be doing but does it quicker if that makes sense um and don't worry if you are worried that beer bread or using beer you might get drunk you will not because during the cooking process process because of all the heat the alcohol is cooked off um so don't worry you will not get drunk from this recipe and hopefully at the end of this video I will give you a bonus recipe as well so yeah um, so yeah this is three ingredients basically all you need is self-raising flour uh, white sugar which is like the sugar you use in your tea basically your tea and coffee um, and some beer that's it and just chuck it all in a bowl and mix it um, but yeah, I'm going to make that today. Um, so I put my book down there. Um, but the problem is my scales, I have some electronic scales. Uh, the other, the other week, well, last week they run out of battery because I was making quite a few cakes and cookies and flapjacks and everything last week. So I kind of used up all the battery and I don't have a spare battery so I had to check I'm using a jug to measure out all the ingredients um, which is okay for the beer because this has fluid ounces this is fluid ounces measurements but with the flour the flour is gram measurements so I had to get on Google and try and translate grams into fluid ounces you know with the flour so i could measure the flour in this jug as well which in one way is helpful because then it's less washing up if you think about it you know measuring out all the ingredients in this and you know um so i have on my hand here i have written on the the measurements for the self-raising flour but the problem is with this jug I cannot see the numbers on it 
my eyesight's too bad and it's not very well you know it's not it's not very bold that you know so uh and also i don't have a mixing machine and i struggle to mix this dough because it can get really thick and dense and really sticky so i'm gonna i don't have a mixing machine but i do have a really great appliance uh and that is a john um john can i yeah. borrow you yeah oh, so oh, one second one second one second right. here we go i have uh, this appliance here it's a really good all-round appliance it can do a lot of jobs first job i need you to do is look cool uh, yeah one thing <laughs> if your john is unusually hairy you might want to fit it with like some headgear to stop the hairiness getting in your food uh, <laughs> right now the first job i need you to do is find 20 seven fluid ounces on there and mark it with the pen for me so i know how much to put in well now, there is 25 now usually two, usually so. the measurements for this for the flour is 420 420 grams of self raising flour so ignore the fluid ounces part that's just for the time being while my scales are having a funny five minutes. So we'll put that there. Right, you've done that. Marked. There we go, clearly marked. So I've got to put flour into that mark there. Hopefully I have enough self raising flour. I think I just about have. But if I haven't, I haven't. <laughs> Well, yeah, probably going flour. wrong, but never mind. It's worth a try. I'm just going to pour it all in there and hope for the best. I think, literally, I think that is. Oh, look at that perfection! It is literally. No, it's a bit oh, off. It's a bit off, right? So what I'm going to do there, I've done this before. Where I've not had enough. If you can get me the plain flour. Um. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to top this up with a tiny bit of plain flour, which won't really make much difference to the to the, the dough itself, to the recipe really. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, so spoon that in there. One. Whilst you're spooning that in there, I'm going to do the sugar. Now, the sugar, you need the sugar to feed the yeast in the beer, basically. Uh, and that... The yeast in the beer, along with the self-raising flour, helps the dough to rise. Um, now, it is a very, very, very dense bread, um, i found. So it is perfect to go with things like casseroles or stews, um, you know, which is what I'm having today for dinner. I'm having a nice stew, so it's going to be perfect for ripping up and dipping in there. And it goes brilliant with stew, you know. Right, so with the sugar, you need basically three tablespoons, that's three of the big spoons, three tablespoons of white sugar. Straight One. out of my tea caddy. <laughs> Two. Three. Right, that's three of those. So... Right now, see this now all goes straight into the mixing bowl. No sieving needed, nothing like that. Just chuck it all in. Plop. <laughs> Dust cloud. Lovely. Uh, now, put that aside a minute. That's the dry ingredients. Now, the last ingredient. A side note for those who have just yeah. recently purchased a John that came with the unmotivated app. You cannot delete it, it is a system file. But to overcome this, just add beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Much like this recipe. Behave. Right, uh, so we need 12 ounces of beer. 
Now at the moment I'm using a branded beer. Yeah, uh, we, we have it's a light rights. beer. We it's, a, it's a light beer, so you know. But usually I use the cheapy supermarket own brand beers, which are like a couple of pence for a can or something, you know. Uh, which I found actually does better with this recipe because it's got a lot more yeast in it. And to um, be honest, having tested supermarket beer and had brand beer, uh, supermarket beer is best left for bread. Right. Let's, let's rub that mark off because we don't need that mark right. there. We now need, could you mark 12 fluid ounces on that jug? Well, so yeah, 12 fluid, fluid ounces. ounces. You can use any beer you like really, uh, but I've used a different, few different types of beer when making this recipe. And each time with each different beer, the 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 bread has come out slightly different. Sometimes it's a little bit more dense. Uh, sometimes I need to cook it longer so it cooks through fully. But with light beers um, and supermarket owned beer, you need to cook it for a, for roughly about si 50 to 60 minutes. And that is on, oh, let's see, that is on, 175 so about 175 to 200 degrees on the in on the cooker so yeah so that's basically a low to medium heat on the cooker in the oven uh, but yeah so 12 fluid ounces of beer see, just roughly one of these see this appliance the john uh the great uh pouring you know they're a great all-round appliance you should really get one for the kitchen they are brilliant oh are you trying to see it looks like you might need a little bit more yeah i'm just waiting for the bubbles to subside because <laughs> it gives it yeah. that a little bit of volume it's very yeah. bubbly isn't it ah frick does break down often need to uh oh, you're back. You're okay. thank you right, there you go the john does break down often especially in the uh later models don't worry if you end up going a bit over the line was that a whole bottle that was a whole bottle well just shy of the mark there so you we have got advertising rights you can actually open another bottle usually with the supermarket own brand cans of beer you only need one can but yeah, but these this, are little bottles. With so. this brand beer, they're smaller bottles. Uh, Quite so literally, you might, just needed you the might seeds. need more than one bottle if you're using okay. a smaller brand. Literally, just needed like, an, oh, an, an, you just needed a neck of it, really, basically. So, there we go. It's John our Lubricant. beer. Now, what we do with that is just again straight in the mixing bowl, and it will bubble up quite a bit. Because, you know, it's beer, it's foamy. Um, but if I try and show the camera without tipping it everywhere. But yeah, it kind of looks a bit a bit messy, a bit disgusting. But, but gonna, bacon always is. I'm going to attempt to give this a bit of a stir. It's quite easy at first, but then once it starts coming into a dough, it gets really stiff and really difficult. And when you have muscle wastage like I do and you have um, joints that like to dislocate very easily it can get very difficult I have dislocated my wrist and my fingers before whilst trying to mix thick doughs like this yeah it's getting thicker now right so once it starts getting too thick for you to stir give, give it, it to your right. appliance <laughs> Um, give it to you, John, and get them to stir it. Get them to do the hard work. Now you see why you while want to put the hair you, guard on. While you sit and finish the beer. Hey, that's that, that's that's fine. I should have drink all that really. Quick sweep. That's quite nice. But yeah, the rest of this beer. I will. I won't be wasting. I'll be sticking straight into my stew. And again, when you put it in a stew to make a broth in a stew, 
all the alcohol is cooked off you're left with kind of like the flavour and also beers are very good uh, they do have obviously too much beer is not good for you um, but beer actually has a lot of vitamin 12 in it because of all the hops uh, vitamin B12 so that is really good for like your bones and stuff so I did a little bit to food every now and again it's not too bad especially if you're cooking off all of the alcohol you know so you're left with just what's left I mean if you think of there's some yeast extract spreads um, that they are made of what is left after beer is finished brewing all the oats and the hops and barley and everything that is left over Project. after all the cooking and all the process of making the beer the byproduct that is left over is this thick sticky black gunk and that is what the yeast extra extract spreads are made of and that has a hell of a lot of vitamin b12 in it and stuff like that so there we go so that would be a good thing to spread on this bread wouldn't it really you know it's super thick now it's super thick is it yeah i'm not gonna hold it above my head though <laughs> oh yeah that looks quite good the spoon stood up in it yeah the spoon the spoon will stand up in it freely um but yeah it's a very thick very sticky and as you can see very elastic and that so but yeah it looks like it's been very well mixed as i said great appliance also makes <laughs> right. tea coffee cocoa <laughs> yeah right. cooks and cleans occasionally um, now let me just get my baking dish a dish for baking something that uh, the john cannot do now usually <laughs> i would use a bread loaf tin uh, but the loaf tin I have is very old and it's not very good anymore. Everything sticks to it. Um, and so basically I'm, I'm just going to use a baking dish. Uh, but if you want to use your, your loaf tin or a tin of any description, go ahead. But what I've done is I've put greaseproof paper in it, lined it with greaseproof paper and smeared it with butter. Uh, if you do not grease it then the paper will stick to your bread and the finished product you'll just have paper all over it because uh, I've cooked as I said I've cooked this recipe quite a few times and I had great trouble because it is a very sticky dough it is like glue it sticks to everything and once it's cooked I tried it just in the loaf tin alone with no grease proof paper and it stuck to the tin and it took me like half an hour to an hour to get it out of the tin. I had to cut the edges of the bread off, just cut a square out to get some of the bread out, you know. Um, and then I tried it with greaseproof paper with no oil, no butter. And the paper, it come out of the tin, but the paper wouldn't come off of it. So again, I had to cut the the paper off I had to cut the edges off um because you, like you don't then. you don't want to be dipping your, your nice beer bread in your nice stew with paper all over it with grease proof paper all over it that's just not fun you, um, you look so, like a gangster rapper there you go I had to cut it off I'm gonna <laughs> cut you blind cut but it. yeah definitely grease your paper grease your pan grease your paper otherwise disaster but I'm not too worried about the shape of this or whether it comes out pretty because it's just going to get ripped up and dipped in and in eaten. stew and eaten. Um, so I'm, I'm not really bothered about prettiness and whether it's presentable. But if you are, it's the that's okay. But yeah, if you are, if you want to get, if you want to make it all pretty and all nice, go ahead. You know, you can also, if you wanted to add herbs and spices mm. to this mix as well so experiment a bit with it you know so and, but yeah and for those who do partake yes that works as well 
Yeah, CBD oil, you could put, I've put CBD oil in beer bread before. I use CBD oil a lot in my recipes. Um, but not today. But not today, no. Um, but yeah, let's get this in the pan. Let's so you don't get it cut everywhere. Ugh, this bowl is big and heavy and awkward to deal with. This is why you need a John. Yeah, this is why you need it right, yeah. It's sticking to the bowl. Can you pour that in there? Try not to try and get it in there as neatly as possible. <laughs> Could I get a grip on it? In trouble. <laughs> no, it's just trying to grip the bowl then. It's no good trying to scoop it out and tilting the bowl backwards, is there? Actually maybe that works. It. I've got a really bad joke for you people. Never date a baker. They're too needy. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> well, I don't know about that one. But you've got to use your loaf when it comes to love. Right, there we go. Is that all in there, yeah? Gonna get the last dreggings we've got like half a half a fucking slider bun there excuse my language but yeah you i suppose you could try and turn these into buns this recipe into buns but it might be a little bit difficult because it is you won't be able to do it with a bit extra flour and dust in a roll it so you might be able to make buns with this you know worth a try i suppose Right, now you finish stabbing at it. I was pressing it down so it was in there nicely, yeah. but not squished out with no air. Just Yeah, try and get it in there. Yeah, well um, you told me to stop stabbing at it. Yeah, stabbing at it, spreading it, it's fine. Yeah, but I was doing that so I could press it down Wait. and then spread it. But yeah, when you're mixing it, you do need to be a little bit aggressive with it and a bit. Just beat it up, you know, in yeah. the bowl. Um, but yeah, I think that that'll be fine. Is your oven set? Yeah. It is set. Yeah, it's, it's set. Primed. It's primed and ready to go. So yeah, I did forget to mention. Do preheat your oven beforehand. Um, so yeah, let's get this in the oven. Um, so this needs to go in at a hundred and seventy-five to two hundred. So a Celsius. low to medium heat. Um, on in the oven um so and that needs to go in for about 50 to 60 minutes maybe a little bit longer depending on what beer you've used because as i said some beers especially heavier beers like stout ales and stuff like that like really hoppy really you know those kind of beers yeah. heavier beers such as the darker beers you, like this one yeah, I'm not showing you the do brand. need to maybe cook it for a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, just experiment with it. Um, and yeah, this is my beer bread recipe. Um, three ingredients. Uh, very easy to do. Uh, just chuck all the ingredients in a bowl, mix it, whack it in the oven. It is very easy. Um, as I said, you might need help mixing it and um, things like that. But if you have uh, appliances like electric mixers and things like that, it is easier. Currently, I don't have any of that. But, but she doesn't need one. She has a John. I have a John. Never so. addition. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to get the John. Oh, my Christ. So whack that in the oven. Yeah, give, um, give, give me the... Uh... The John appliance handguard. Oh yeah, there we go. The attachment. The hand attachments. If you order John a John appliance. today, you get free comedy and poetry. But oh, wait, god. there's more. Oh god, you're not gonna get. You're not gonna do any comedy. Please don't. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Just did. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna run through those ingredients again in case you didn't catch them because I'm a bit nutty today um but yeah for the beer bread 
It is 420 grams Which of self-freezing flour. Middle shelf, please. So yeah, again, 420 grams of self-raising flour, three tablespoons of white sugar, 12 fluid ounces of beer. So, and then chuck it all in a bowl, mix it up, chuck it in the oven. Um, so yeah, that is a quick and easy one. Hopefully I'm gonna be doing a lot more recipes. Uh, I'm still learning a lot of recipes myself. But hopefully I'll be, I'm learning on how to adapt recipes so they are easier for people with learning difficulties and disabilities to use, you know, to, um, to understand and to make. So hopefully we can do a few more videos like this. Um, but yeah, I said I was going to give you a bonus recipe. Right, this is another beer recipe. Uh, and this is for beer batter uh, and now the, this recipe does a large portion of beer batter so you get quite a lot out of it so it's good for like if you're having party or guests over you can make this beer batter and you can literally dip any cook any type of food in it really you know I've had fun with it I've tried different types I, I did halloumi cheese in it which was really good um onion rings amazing i did some fish in it lovely um but yeah here's the ingredients for this beer butter then so 256 grams of self-raising flour 12 ounces of flu 12 fluid ounces of beer or ale uh and seasonings to taste you don't have to put the seasonings in if you don't want to uh but if you do want to then go ahead and you can put anything in it from salt just salt and pepper or herbs and you can put spices in it as well you know i saw someone i was looking at some videos and some people were putting paprika in it and stuff like that curry powder and you know making samosa samosa type things with it you know so but i took the recipe and i've sort of adapted it a little but yeah once you've got them ingredients it's quite easy the method again just put it all into a mixing bowl mix it up um until it's like a smooth batter uh, and then what you need to do with the food that you're going to be coating in it you need to dip that in flour first coat that in flour first because that flour will stick to the food and then that flour will help the batter stick to the food as well so yeah it's quite easy and then you just chuck it in a you can deep fat fry it or I've shallow fried the halloumi cheese I did quite thin slices and shallow fried it which worked out really well so yeah I'm pretty sure you could probably bake it as well although the batter is quite runny so if you were to coat things in it and put it on a baking tray in the oven the batter would run off the food I think so that might need to go back to the drawing board if you wanted to do it in the oven but yeah so give those recipes a try and let me know what you think of them you know and if you have any recipes that you want to share comment below comment with them below this video um yeah because it, it's important to help keep disabled people independent it's important quality of life and independence is important and part of that is being able to feed yourself is being able to cook your own food you know uh, to be honest uh, making your own food baking making cakes making recipes is really good for the mental health you know it's 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 really satisfying to be able to put the ingredients together and mix it up and make your own food I mean because I could go buy a cake from the shop and eat it I won't get the same pleasure from that cake though that I would from a cake that I have 
I have made myself, you know, if any of that makes sense. So yeah, I'm going to stop gabbing on now because I think I'm really hyperactive and I need to go and start making my stew. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully I'll do some more videos, maybe some cakes or something next time. Um, and maybe flapjacks, maybe CBD flapjacks. We'll see. Um, but yeah, see you all later. Take you out of the cup to turn the video off. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye bye.